Hi, Pakita. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I'm, I'm good. How uh, about you? I'm, I'm good too. Thank you. Yeah, thank so, you. first of all, congratulations for getting in uh, the company. Yeah, thank How you. do you feel about it? Yeah, it's good. Like, actually, so uh, I'm a person from Nan IT. Uh, uh, it's a good to go as an MNC company uh, that I'm very happy after uh, doing a hard work in current organization around two years and uh, I got this opportunity uh, with uh, manual and automation point of view and also performance testing. Wonderful, wonderful. Great. Yeah. How many years of experience you have? Yeah, total I have uh, around two, uh, exact two, uh, two years of experience uh, in a product based company. Uh, as I got one opportunity uh, in a big, uh, big for MNC company, that uh, it's yeah. great. So, what is the percentage? What is the salary hike that you have got? Yeah, around two hundred and twenty percent. I got the hike. That's great. Two hundred, very two hundred plus percent of hike. Yeah, know? yeah, around two hundred plus. Hike. Great, great. So, how many interview rounds were there in that company? Around uh, like four inter four rounds, uh, three are technical and one is uh, like HR manager round. Is there. Great. So uh, was it a in person interview or was it a virtual interview? Yeah, yeah. Actually, the three technical rounds are there, right? First mm -hmm. uh, is the like virtual interview. Is there. Okay. I joined through the online and uh, after selected for the first round, they called to me at the office. There two technical rounds happened. After uh, this is happened, after one week, I got the call from HR. He has selected, and uh, it is an uh, like it is an online call only, but uh, telephonic call uh, they, they got, and uh, they there might be like there has uh, like how it is. So already discussions happened in the phone. That is the HR round. Yeah. Right. Right. I remember we connected earlier for one of the mock. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, how long, like how many times we have connected earlier? I think one or two times we have connected. No, yeah, uh, exactly one time. Uh, that mm -hmm. is also same August month in the 2023. Sorry, right. 2023. Right. Uh, yeah. Great, great. So can you share some of the interview questions um, with me? What all questions you had got when during the interview? Yeah, def definitely, definitely I can share. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, the thing is why I'm sharing it. Uh, I learn many things from the RD learn, RD automation. Mm -hmm. learning, uh, so by watching the, you are uploading daily, right? Like uh, who are giving the interviews. No? So those questions is helped me more uh, for the interview. If you observe like uh, introduction questions and how we can introduce and what are the questions. Uh, are asking those questions are helped in the interview process because uh, moreover we are working in the professional way we are completing our task daily by right? but we need to prepare in a quick way and uh, easier way so and remembering purpose also I, I whenever the upload is video coming in our channel i am daily watching that and getting the answer and for the experience uh, to clear the interviews and, and uh, that has helped me. Yeah. Great, great. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for that. Do you have some document ready or would you like me to share the screen? Yeah, and if, can... yeah I have a document ready. If you want, yeah. I can share. So you can click on this green color share button. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. I will share. Yeah, is it my screen? Is it good? It's loading. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, I captured like in, a, in this. Great, great, it's visible. Yeah, the, I have uh, for the technical point of view, I have uh, uh, captured in this uh, in this one, and uh, manager one I haven't given, but I can tell orally. Wonderful, wonderful. So these are the questions that you got. A giant related question you got. You got difference between regression and retesting. Can yes, you describe yes. about your framework? And what type of art of the yeah, what type of framework you have used? And I was part of the agile method based on this. They have asked, okay, what process you have followed for agile? How did you configure the pipelines? Write screenshot code, write XPath for given scenario and application. Great, great. Good, good set of questions you've got. Yeah, 
how do you handle the dynamic dropdowns, how do you validate the tool tips, difference between abstraction and interface, difference between hard asset and soft asset, what is inheritance and how do you use in your framework, logic for sorting the given array difference between single slash and double slash, what are the selenium elements, locators, what are the mostly used locators in your daily project. Okay, wait. Then uh, how do you find the links? What is the priority? And security, how do you find broken links? When in the situation like logo is a problem and how do you give to the bug? Okay, good. So manual testing, functional testing question for you. Yeah, Hello? Yes, 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 but you you're audible. Yeah, you are asking something. No, no. I'm just saying that you have got a manual testing questions also. Yeah, yeah. Both I got. Uh -huh. uh, and also some of the questions I got person like uh, what I mentioned in the resume that also they have asked. Yeah, you can continue these questions. And... Right, right. Great, great. These are a good set of questions. You can can you send it in an email to us in the same Yeah, de definitely I will share this. Yeah. yeah. Great, great. Yeah. One question I got repeatedly in three uh -huh. technical rounds is this question everyone uh -huh. asked, like uh -huh. three interviewers uh -huh. asked. Uh -huh. uh, in my resume, actually, I was a non technical person, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I completed my BTEC in 2019. Uh -huh. And uh, they asked, I only mentioned two years of uh, uh -huh. IT experience, not any. Uh, mechanical related experience okay. why you only have two years of experience but you have completed graduation in 2018 mm -hmm. so i have given an answer like them uh, so uh, like uh, in the mechanical field also i did same work mm -hmm. uh, like checking the products but that is a physical part and uh, currently i am doing is uh, in the software but my both roles are same by, based on my interest, I switched from non-IT to mechanical, like mm. sorry, mechanical to IT. Mm. So by get uh, the same scenario was there, uh, but technically I was very weak in mechanical side. That's why I I moved from mechanical to IT. And also I I mentioned them uh, actually there was a problem when I completed my BTEC because of financially I was not unstable. Mm. So after working of three and a half years uh, i solved my financial problems and slowly moved to from mechanic uh, non-it to it so that one reason i told to everyone in a uh, three technical rounds uh, because they are getting doubt uh, like mm -hmm. only you have two years of experience but that 2018 completed right mm -hmm. yeah that is the one scenario i got but yeah. i was i was fully prepared uh, instead of blank right. Right, right. Yeah. So that's a very good thing, and I think uh, everyone should share the honest answer in an interview. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You were having these issues, and uh, instead of getting demotivated, you looked forward and you worked forward to solve those kind of issues. Right. And that's a very good thing. If you are working in this manner, it's really helpful. And then you solve those things and then you switch from non IT to IT and see the God also saw your effort. God also saw how much you are putting the hard work and uh, they gifted you with this 200% of it, 225 percent. Yeah, yes, yes. So that's a great thing. You are sure, sure, uh, definitely when this video would be uploaded on the channel, it would be motivating a lot of people out there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and not, on, not only in the channel, in uh, my app, in, like where I am working in the office, yeah. that yeah, that office is also like it's been. Uh, it, this is my first move from uh -huh. the from testing team actually. Right, so right. they are very appreciated by team, my team leads and everything. Yeah. Great, great. And if you see today's day, so today's day is also so auspicious, right? It's Ganesh Chaturthi. It's been celebrated by it's a very good day that we are connecting today for um for the success to Yes. That's a good thing again. Right. Okay. Now coming to the next question. How uh, many of the QA folks out there they are looking for the jobs? They are looking for the opportunities. Right? Yes. What suggestion would you like to give it to them? Yeah, advice yeah actually I I am 
when I completed my one year one year of experience, I was trying the, by giving updating resumes and everything in the uh, like now career LinkedIn portals. But I was like very discussed with these portals actually. I didn't call, get any calls. Just my resume is updating and my details are updating, but nothing getting uh, updating from them from that portals. Uh, one or two calls I got within uh, around six months only. But I was I knew somewhere it is mistaken. I was I thought like that and uh, I started applying in the direct their uh, uh, career portals were there right like uh, some, uh, companies for uh, career portals were there right. So I started filling that their application forms and uh, started. Uh, this is very helpful for me. Uh, I I got two three interview calls from by filling up. Uh, their interview, their career portals directly. Within a span of uh, only three, two to three months only, I got three interview calls. Okay. So you suggest people to go uh, on career portal websites and to fill up the things there? Yes, yes. But uh, the problem, what what we can like, the problem is the, their application form should be very lengthy uh, because we are filling the first time right. Once if we fill and we registered their websites means whenever the new opportunities will be there, I will get mails and notifications, right? If it is anything matching, the next time it is be very easy to us. No need to register again and again. So second time our application will be going to just apply means it will be automatically applied. And if it is a very important role means that definitely calls will come uh, instead of uh, looking for the now career LinkedIn portals. That is very uh, helpful, helpful for me, and also got this job because of that portal uh, playing the career portal supply. We can we can apply from there, and we will get the calls. But uh, thing is, uh, sometimes this time like uh, calls are also very less for the QA. Uh, but we were, uh, we can work more on to uh, like these portals, and we can get definitely calls. Correct, correct. What kind of skill set is in demand in the market? You think? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, huh. yeah, and in my QA point, our QA point of view, we need to learn every tool. Like, we, we should be a, as a SDET, not uh, only manual, not only automation. Mm -hmm. Everything we should learn. Today, we have uh, everything in our like YouTube, Chat GPT, everything is in our hand. So, no need to pay money also to the uh, any institutions also. No need to, the first, the first time, if you don't know anything, if you pay means, that is uh, some valuable. But after knowing all these tools, no need to pay one single rupee also to the uh, any website or anything. Uh, you can simply learn the tools. So my suggestion is that QA member need to learn all the all the skills like manual automation and automation point of view, uh, not only the just writing the code and uh, we need to implement the uh, agents also. That, that is the main important currently and performance testing point of view also. Currently, the company is not looking only for automation manual tools. They are looking. Uh, where uh, who is having multiple skills that that they are doing and also in my current organization they are they are looking like an a ba point also. as a tester you have to act like an a ba also if you have those skills then only you can survive wherever you can go like ba point of is is just is collect uh, like ba means they are collecting the requirement from client right so after collecting only, we can understand the requirement and writing scenarios, test cases, right? Uh, whatever they are doing that job also, we need to learn. So that is one uh, thing happening currently in the IT industry for the QA members and we need to learn. And also uh, like a database point of view, we need to learn. Hmm. And moreover, we need to use the AI tools that is more uh, advantage but uh, our uh, whenever we are doing work no? if you want to complete dead times if you if you have answer on uh, chat uh, like a tools we can complete it in that yeah these yeah. are the skills we need to improve for a QA, for 
superior pro, uh, prospect. Great, right. great, great. great. Your child is back. Yeah. Great, great. Very nice. We sure as well uh, from our side. Right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. So these were good things, and uh, you were telling about managing the round. It happened. Yeah. So what were the questions that were asked to you in the managing round? Uh, HR round, uh, like mm -hmm. HR manager round. Yeah. 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 yeah they, they ask like. Uh, mm, how much of experience do you have uh, and uh, what are the they ask like project uh, like what type of domain projects you have already worked mm -hmm. so not in depth they just knowing that uh, you are really worked or not you are a genuine candidate or not they have checked mm -hmm. so when i was uh, they they get to know right uh, we are like we are uh, worked on project or not so i simply said my project and uh, definite these things and what is your current salary and how much you are expecting mm. how much you are expecting salary those questions they ask and uh, and also they ask one more question uh, same question when i told like in the technical point of view, 2018 two years so they have experience mm. why you are shifted from there to here they asked mm. some different question they asked they ask like uh, some something different uh, hr asked like uh, uh, you have three and a half year, three and a half years experience in mechanical field why did you shift from there to it hmm. what motivates you and also from current company to what i am shifting in the, that also they asked why you are shifting what what happened with your current organization hmm. that also they asked and uh, after that, they they asked uh, like about uh, mm. uh, where will where you can see after the two three years of uh, joining in our organization, mm. Mm. and mm. also and also what they are asked uh, like questions uh, mm. like they have the after these questionnaires they have given some benefits and perks also. Mm -hmm. This is the shift timings. Mm -hmm. And you have to be whatever the shift came, you can work on that shift. They are they they told, and they 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 told like three shifts are there. You, know, mm -hmm. you have to work on that. Okay, okay, great, great. Thank you so much, uh, Pakira, for sharing your yeah. questions and yeah. for connecting with us today for sharing your success story. Anything yes. else you would like to share with the community? Yeah. Not, nothing that much. I have already given the points and everything. Uh, the RD, RD, RD automation learning is doing a great job, great uh, thing actually. Uh, with, whenever the, that is the, like uh, interview point of view questions are very helpful for us. I was very wonder and whenever I have interviews, definitely I will watch those all way. Previously, I, uh, when I watch uh, those hmm. those videos also, I will refer and uh, introduction point of view or any other things, I will note out and uh, I was attending the interviews. That is the uh, one thing. No, no, thank you so much. Yeah. And I'm uh, glad that we are glad that uh, this particular channel is uh, assisting yeah. interview preparation and preparing the interviews. Right? So yeah. I think. Uh, most of the points are covered and that will be very much beneficial for the community because they are yeah. so many people out there one looking for the jobs or preparing for the interviews right so one thing that is really good yeah. thank you so much and we should good luck for your career ahead yeah uh, 